deep in the mountains of central Luzon in the northern Philippines, in an area known for the beauty of its volcanic landscape, is the heartland of the Aita tribe. The Aita have been in the Philippines for more than 30,000 years. They have preserved much of their culture, but have also been untouched by the rest of the country's progress. Suffering from malnutrition, many without permanent homes and a lack of basic services, the Aita have long been the poorest group in the country. We were treated like we weren't human. The military used to beat us and intimidate us, accusing us of coddling insurgents. Tribal chief Oscar Rivera says all that changed when a bill was passed recognizing the rights of indigenous people 10 years ago. From then, the Aita launched a campaign to win rights back over their ancestral land. Truth is, we went through much hardship, but we didn't feel we had to have an armed struggle to regain our ancestral land. Instead, we dialogued, endless dialogue with the government, and they listened. Over half a million hectares of land has been returned to the Aita tribe as part of their ancestral domain. Now this here is prime property that now belongs to the tribe, and they have decided to not sell it on. Any development that takes place on ancestral domain land will have to first go through the tribal chiefs. Their ancestral domain is now prime property, lying in the middle of a new industrial zone being developed by the government. Foreign investment is pouring in, and the Aita can claim a share of the pie. Our goal is to give total empowerment over their ancestral domain. For now, we are still helping them make decisions on accepting investors and furthering in development. But the final word is theirs. Developments like this resort are now springing up on Aita land, many of them also employing members of the tribe. They say they know there is still much to do before they can reap rewards, but they're willing to take it one step at a time. We are not selling our land, and we have no plans to seek autonomy from the government. We need their help to progress. In the end, all this is for our children. Many of the Aita are still impoverished, needing to scrounge for food to survive. Things won't get better overnight, but they say they're grateful they didn't have to use guns to fight to be heard. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Central Luzon, the Philippines.